Okay, we seem to be live. I'm gonna switch to this. Yeah, everything seems okay. Let's switch this to live chat. And this to live chat. We're good. I guess we are good. Hello, Paul. How are you? Did you me? I said, yay! Awesome. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome to a new session of Seven Days to Die. Where we survive in the zombie apocalypse. Hello, two slide for you. Welcome to the stream. Um so yeah, I kind of forgot while we wait for people to show up. I'm just gonna do this. And because I kind of forgot to update the schedule. Hello, CDP Mia. One second. Because if I don't know if you if you saw the announcement on the different you know socials or in the Discord or in the YouTube, but this weekend will be a little bit different. Let me see. Uh, no, this is YouTube schedule. This is the schedule. I need to copy it here so I can show it to you. One second. We're just doing a little bit of. You know, uh, behind the scenes things. Uh, OBS media, schedule, and schedule. Okay, we're done. There you go. Hello, Peggy. Where are my glasses? I really don't need them for this, you know? I only need them for reading and for you know like looking at very small things but for using the computer i really don't need those eventually i will need but right now no okay so um this is the schedule for the weekend it's a smaller schedule you know it's compressed because we're gonna have our seven days today session right now and on both saturday and sunday you are getting hour and a half long videos of Pacific Drive because I went around, I did some things and the next episode of Pacific Drive next weekend where we go back to the you know, normal one episode per weekend is going to be like way different because I did like five missions on my own and I upgraded the car and all this stuff so yeah, that's the schedule for this weekend it's being compressed you see, we get the zombie shenanigans, and then both on Saturday and Sunday, back to back, hour and a half long episodes of Pacific Drive, where we explore the Olympic exclusion zone and all of the friggin' dimensional anomalies they have. So yeah, that's the schedule for the weekend. And if you're asking why is that, because you know, I recorded two episodes back to back. Also tomorrow I'm going to be out of town, so I just need to just streamline things you see i didn't have time to record another house flipper so we need to i had and i had two pacific drive ready so we just did that okay with that out of the way let's just jump back into the zombie apocalypse as you can see standard settings for everything here we go been working and uh, you will see the results. And I believe tomorrow is a horde night, so probably most of today we're going to have to be retrofitting the horde base. Because there was some damage last time. We will see. We will see. Kong. Okay. And by working, I mean, of course, working here at Ranger, Ranger Station Foxtrot, which is like my personal retreat. Let me just show you, starting from up here. Um, as you can see, I installed a TV because we need a TV. It is now 2.50 a.m. of day 90. I was right. You know, tomorrow is a hard day. So we're going to have to do some preparations. Um, still don't like this ugly ass door. Um, but as you can see, all of the cabinets have been fixed. The sink over here has been fixed. And I even added this plant 
you know, it's a... I don't know what sort of planet is this. And the other thing I decided, that this down here is going to be like my meditation room. And I'm going to put these very nice uh, paintings along the walls, so I can sit over here and I can meditate. Look, Siri, I, I'm not going to meditate looking at you, but okay. Meditating at these paintings, it's like my, my meditation room, you know? Oh my god, you are one crazy ass monster. Shut up, Gladys. I need to, like, a place to wind down. Hello, Brandon. How are you? Paul says, my car died. Transmission. Going car shopping tomorrow. Oh, nice. You're going to get the nerdy things. Hey, Pongo. How are you? And the other thing that we need to do, and we're going to probably do it right now. I need some zombie research initiative equipment over here, like a, a workbench, maybe a, you know, like a, a forge. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to create like a, a little area because we don't want to attract too much zombie attention here. Um, so this is far enough. You see over here, we're going to expand a little bit to have an additional workshop available to us. Uncle says, I'm doing well, thanks. I hope you're doing well too. Yes, yes. Tomorrow is a busy day for me because I'm going out of town. I'm going to be out all day. So that's why we are streamlining the uh, content this weekend. And tomorrow, uh, next week, it's um, Easter. And I don't know about you, but Friday is a holiday here, you know? So there might be additional streams and shenanigans next weekend. I don't know if in other countries... Uh, Chile is a very Catholic country, that's why, you know, it's a... Friday is a, it's a holiday. It's not like in Spain where they basically take you know, off the entire week. He will only take off, like, Friday. Bunny worshipping. Exactly. Bunnies are friends, not food. I bought a lot of chocolate eggs for, you know, to alleviate the workload on the Easter bunny. And actually, I don't know if that's a, if that's a custom elsewhere, but over here... For, uh, you know, the, the Easter Bunny leaves you chocolate eggs, and they are delicious and moist. Okay. Yeah, this is what we need to do. That's that's looking good. I'm going to uh, open this a little bit. Uh, Siri. Siri, can you come over here, please? Siri, okay. Wait, Siri, wait for me. As you wish. Thank you. This way I can do this properly. All bunnies leave chocolate eggs. Oh, awesome, awesome. I was not sure if it was a like a widely adopted thing. Because I've seen people like painting real eggs, which to me doesn't make any sense. Like, what are you going to do with painted real eggs? Are you going to make, like, a very artistic omelet? Is that is that, is that the deal? That's, that's as much as I can think of about people painting real eggs. Chocolate eggs on the other side. They are delicious and moist. Okay, yeah, this looks good. So yeah, like I said, Easter next week. So there's a good chance of additional streams on Friday because it is a holiday. Probably the additional stream would be on Thursday. Brothers, I live for marshmallow peeps this time of year. Oh, I like chocolate. Hey, Jonathan, how are you? 
Jordan says, my one year toddler loves your videos. His name is Jack. Awesome. Awesome. It is a good thing that Jack is shown, you know, like it's, it's his very early age is shown the videos and the community. Because that's how we get new subscribers, you know? We manufacture them. Existing subscribers, you know, like bring their hits. And thus we grow. It is a it is a it is a long duration plan, but it's basically my business model. So thank you, Janet. There you go. Yeah, okay. I'm going to increase the size of this a little bit. And then we will go. And just so you know, uh, next week we're going to have like the series finale of Alan Wake. Then probably the compilation videos, like the full playthrough. I had to split it in two. It's like two uh, 13 hours videos. And then we begin with Control, the DLCs. Foundation first and AWE next. And after the Control DLCs are done, uh, we're going to be playing the new Alone in the Dark. I played the original, like, last century. You know, in the past century. But now we're going to play the remake. It's going to be awesome. That's a lot of clicker shenanigans. Yes, we're going to be walking around, clicking, and changing reality. Okay, this is good. Peggy says, how is your new dog, which is adorable, by the way. It, we still have not gotten her because, um, you know, the current owner, which is, uh, uh, has to let her go because of, you know, like health concerns. He's currently at the hospital. So he has not been able to coordinate the, um, let's call it the handover of the dog. So we still don't have her. And apparently his wife is not very keen on this. It's a whole mess. We already said we would take her in. So if they want to clean up things and, you know, like get their stuff together, it's okay. If not, we already said we would, you know, welcome the dog and give her a new home. But we're not going to be just, uh, you know, like, asking them. Now the they have, they have the, they need to do the thing. They need to contact us and say, hey, you can come get the doggo. It's okay. And if they don't, if they decide to keep her, well, okay, it's her family. But as I understand, he has very serious health things, so they cannot keep her, so... But yeah, I understand, he was just... Uh, they, they, he had an operation on... You know, he had surgery on uh, on Monday, so... The, 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 the doggo uh, handover was supposed to be on Tuesday, but... Sadly, it did not go as planned. We'll see. Like I said, we already said yes. Then I was I was thinking of calling her Luna. Her actual her like her current name is Honey, and that's not a doggo name. So yeah, that's the the update on the doggo. She's as a Siberian husky, very very vocal dogs. So for now, I only have like the mad one, you know, the Kiat. In fact, I gave uh, her like the, the last meal of the day just before the stream started. She was already giving me the side eye because there was no food in her plate. And that was absolutely unacceptable. Okay, this is looking good and outside it is daytime. So we're going to be doing this. Yeah, because, you know, if there is an agreed-upon time to feed the doggos, they know that. They have clocks integrated 
and directly wired to their stomachs. So they know when uh, you have to feed them. And uh, if you have not put the food in their plate at the agreed upon time, that is non-compliance and it will be reported to the proper authorities, apparently. Okay, let's just put this over here. Yeah, this area we're going to turn, like I said, into a mini workshop so we can manufacture things out here. And um, outpost Foxtrot is good. It's like a, a long range outpost so we can keep th uh, an eye on things happening here in the wasteland. And I'm just going to put this over here. And there. Oh, come on. Put that over there. What, Mike? Yeah, cash TOT 16. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming, buddy. Don't worry, don't worry. I know we need to work on the base. Also, I need to inspect uh, what you've been doing with the war crooks at the at the base, you know? This is Star Star Seattle. out. Exactly. Jonathan says, JC, I share a photo of Jack in Discord. Nice. Because, you know, we have a Discord. It is a good Discord. You should join it. There's like the nerdy things. There's the pawns. And you can type exclamation mark in chat. And you then, you know, you join the Discord. And also in the description of the video, if you're watching this, like the... If you're watching the recording of this, it's in the description. Just go to the description. There's a link. You click it, you join it. And you start posting stuff. It is a good Discord. Okay, this is good. I'm going to just drop a thing here. A uh, secure storage chest. I want to craft one. Oh, we got some silver nuggets. That's good. And I'm going to leave one of these things over here. Okay, so I'm going to leave the stone. I'm going to leave these control panels. This chair. The ham radio, I'm going to bring back. I'm gonna get this, that, that. Actually, I'm gonna bring this back and this as well. The wood furniture. I'm gonna leave it here. These cabinets and cupboards. I actually need those. And the wood furniture as well. Actually, I'm gonna bring all of this back. I'm just gonna leave this over here in this paint. And maybe this paintbrush. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this back and the rest we are bringing back to the base. Also that led. Okay, Siri. Great to see you, master. I'll get Follow it me. done. Thank you. Let's go up and we're going to go back to the new main facility of the Zombie Research Initiative, the Sky City, which is our main base of operations here in the Alpha 21 area. And then I got to check the horde base because they are coming oh lord they are coming tomorrow okay let's go over here maybe may i use the exclamation mark culvert command which gives you an explanation of what a culvert is you know a culvert is something that denotes a very advanced human society. So if you see culverts, you know you are in a place where you can get stuff, you can get resources. If you don't see any culverts, well, you are out of luck. Okay, here we go. Ah, huh? what is going on? Oh. My. God. Oh, I'm out of gas. Okay. This is embarrassing. Your actions bring shame to the entirety of the Zombie Research Initiative, you embarrassing monster. Ah, Gladys, I just ran out of gas and had to auto-rotate here. It was a pretty long auto-rotation, now that I remember. 
You would have been proud. I auto rotated from about 600 meters. TDP Mia says, eat beans. We are not trying to produce methane gas. Yes, we did the auto rotation. Okay, we're heading back to the sky city, as you can see it on the horizon. A shining beacon of host, uh, of host, of hope in the zombie apocalypse. And um, so, Mike, wh what were you and the guys from the uh, construction uh, crew doing? Yeah, Cash POT 62. Oh, okay. Here's the start star, see you out. Awesome, awesome. So, more work on the, um, the building that's next to the, you know, the, 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 the launch area and the, the crane that we're going to use because the, the, the vehicle will be built next to the launch pad and then we're going to use a crane. I saw the, the plans of the crane, apparently they'll start building it, we're going to use it to position it there. Stop trying to sound like you understand what you are talking about, you credit-taking monster. Shut up, Gladys. Whoa! Shiny! It's foggy, so sunrise looks like a nuclear blast. Look at this. This could actually be like a cool thumbnail. You see, like, Dawn of the Dead or something like that. I think that's the thumbnail right there. Paul says, what do you call a shoe made of banana peels? Slippers. <laughs> Lots of hope shining, yes. Oh yeah, I'm seeing the structure. Yeah. And also bananas, exactly. Yeah, look at this. So yeah, the crew quarters over there are done. And they're building the crane that we're going to use to move the ship. Okay, good. And over here you can see the crops. Okay. Did you ask Gladys about her pistols from the incredible adventure of Val Hansing game? Uh, no? Gladys has pistols from the incredible adventures of Van Helsing? Someone was playing that. Why am I not... Crap. Okay, we got an issue. I can't get out of the... of the chopper. I'm pressing E. Nothing is happening. Well, the first wood caught a live stream while watching my wife making me a dark chocolate cheesecake. Awesome. Okay, why can I get out of... Okay, let's just... There. Okay, I have an issue. This is not working. Maybe the developer, sa uh, developer safety mechanism because they know who you are? Maybe, but the escape key is not working as well. Oh, sorry. I had this, you see? He says, my son is playing it and found a pair of pistols named Gladys. Oh, I didn't know that. Nice. Nice. Uh, hey, Gladys, do you have any relation to those uh, Gladys pistols? I'm busy doing important things. I don't have time for your games. You monster. See, if says pause and unpause. It was not working. It's because I had the, the, the HUD. You see, when you do this, nothing works. You gotta put it back there. For a second, I was a little bit concerned. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, you see, we got this crane. 
this is where we're going to assemble the vehicle and well the crane needs a little bit more work so this crane grabs the vehicle rises puts the vehicle let there in the launch pad and then we zoom over there good okay that's that's good and this area oh i forgot to do this like the background music okay this is the first of the crew areas i'm actually going to paint this i'm going to do a little bit of inventory management which is one of the main reasons bananas yes bin, 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 oh, usually bananas one of the main reasons why people watch this channel so let me just put that over there this one that one this one and i'm gonna put this over here what the f where is all the money? This is a star star, Seattle. out. You used it for materials? Seattle, cast TOT 16. Oh, yeah, I know we're broke again. <sighs> well, at least the. Uh... I'm guessing by tonight the new crops will be done and we can sell those. What the hell? We had like over a hundred grand. Now I only have what I'm carrying, you know? Off to the cornfield. Yes, we're gonna need to just do the, the corn thing. Oh, I forgot to leave the paint. Damn it. Keeping me as a reload safe. Cheat. We do not cheat. You know? Never mind what Gladys said, for instance, when I added this to the XML and stuff. It is just cosmetics. Yes, I edited the XML, I added this, and that's it. So you mean you cheated again, you compulsively cheating monster. Shut up, Gladys. I added a cosmetic to the XML. See, because I see it's science. The science of cheating. We do it old school here. You grind. Okay, I'm confused. What am I supposed to do? Okay, we go. Yeah, we gotta do that. I need a... I think I left the... Just the paintbrush. Uh, and now I don't have a paintbrush? What the hell? Maybe I put it here? No. Weird. Uh, okay, I guess I just... I'm gonna have to make a paintbrush. I cannot believe I only had one. We need leather. Okay. Gladys must have used money to make the twin pistol. Possibly. Possibly. Fancy Van Helsing era pistols are not cheap. Okay. Let's copy this thing and put it there. And look at this. The magic of roller painting. Hello, Greg. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I need to finish this. Forgot. Let's see. There. There. I get some weird dips. I guess it's because of the size of the structure sometimes in frame rate. Check this out. We are at holding out. I, I put the frames per second there uh, right under this camera. We are at 109, 199, 95, 85, 87, 79, 73 when I look at this. Sometimes it just freezes and goes into like 40. I guess it's just because of the new, like the new blocks and the new paints. Kind of weird. Okay, we're going to do something that's kind of weird. But I needed to do it because I haven't finished it. Well, for says, what's for dinner? Well, I was, I was, uh, you know, before I left... 
uh, for uh, Alpox Foxtrot. I left a bunch of co of food be in, like in the in the kitchen. So we're gonna go and check if that it's done or not. You missed one. Um, well, there is this one, but I don't know what's going on with this. Let me try again. Okay, there we go. This is done. That's done. We gotta paint this. And... This. Yeah, cash POT 16 all right mike yeah 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 i need to go and check the horde base focus you monster oh shut up gladys yeah i need to do this cp man says good i was allowed uh, about to lose my <laughs> we need to eat some chicken cordon blue what the hell is chicken cordon blue Greg says, thank you for asking. I bought Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, also known as Super Special Shiny Edition. That is a good game. It is a good game. We played a little bit on Wednesday. Very close to the ending, I'm thinking. Just messing around in the containment chamber for Genova right now. But like I said, I'm pretty sure we're right. Like one more stream session, and we're good. Blue is good. Awesome. Hey, Layla is here. Hello, Layla. How are you? Bongo says, I think it's chicken tied up with blue string. That is so crazy. It might actually be true. You still need to play still. Resting from volunteering this week. Awesome. CDP Mia says, Late Hammer. Risking a swift ban by, you know, like sassing Layla. Okay, I'm just gonna paint this over here so it looks pretty. So it's always important to make all of this look pretty. There, there, there. Ham and cheese wrapped in chicken bread. Oh, ham and cheese wrapped in chicken bread. What is chicken bread? Or chicken breaded? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna paint all of this. The magic of roller painting. Okay, that's looking better. You see? That's looking better. Just gonna grab all this. And inside, I'm going to just paint this. Chicken breast, then bread it. Oh. Oh. Hello, Time Eric. And Layla threatens with the immediate band of CDP Media. Paul says, what do you call two monkeys who share an Amazon Prime account? Primates. Chicken breast with ham and cheese wrapped around it with bread. Yeah. I'm not too fond of messing around with, you know, the, 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 the breaded chicken. I prefer, you know, like red meat. Gotta finish painting all of this so we can start installing all of the necessary things for the crew. There you go, there we go. I like this round windows they went with, they're you know, like different. Okay. You see it's looking pretty. Okay, I guess we're done. And I'm going to paint this. Yeah, this is a nice view. You see, these are the... 
these are the crew quarters. Actually, I'm thinking that this first floor is going to be like um, um, like a rest area for people to just uh, like I don't know, have some fun, play some games, stuff like that. And maybe we add a second floor and we put the actual bunks on top of that. Something like that. We we can do that. We can do that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to add a stair over there. And we can build this. So you see, because this is the sky city. This is not the sky, like, small town. This is sky city. This thing is going to be big. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna put that over there, put this over here. I guess we are good for now. The guys from the Advanced Propulsion Project and the Mech Project, uh, they need to keep working on the crane and on the ship that's going to be started in construction over here. See, baby, says, imagine if the floor suddenly gives away. No, because you know we we know structural integrity. You know, the numbers have been crunch, you know, it's solid, solid. It's absolutely solid. Why is this thing off? It's kind of weird. I'm going to check the wiring. Okay, let's just put this over here. And I'm going to be bringing this. Should we bring? Yeah, I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring steel. I'm going to bring forge iron. I'm going to bring mechanical parts. I'm going to bring electrical parts. I'm going to bring, um, let's see over here. Oof. I think this is enough for now. Let's go. Let's go and check the current state of our horde base. Okay, Mike, I'm heading to the horde base. This is Star Star, see you out. Roger that. Luckily, it's right here. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of the FPS counter. Okay, there were some explosions last time, it seems. I remember that. I'm gonna park this right here. Okay. I don't see any... Yeah, there's some structural damage up there. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. We're just gonna fix this real quick. Oh, yeah, there was just a lot of blasters. Exactly. Uh, a lot of blasters last time. Demolishers. Blasters! Hey, crazy boy! How are you? And copy this one. And the rotation is good. And copy this one. And we need to do this. Copy this one over here. And copy this one over here. Gladys was a little slow the correction. Well, she was just... She has a lot to do, you know? Also, she's getting a little bit, you know, like, obsolete, if you ask me. You are a monster. Oh, shut up, Gladys. I'm just saying what everybody is thinking. Okay. Crazy Boy says, 14 hate watchers. Damn. You see, because the phenomenon of hate watching is a very well documented phenomenon where you watch something and you don't like it. In fact, if you look at your YouTube page, 
I say, like the stream, you should see uh, like the like button. Press the like button, you should see it glitter. I don't know if that's still working, but it should be like that. Like, like the stream. Hopefully that worked. Okay, that's good. Um, do we need to actually do something over here? Well, it took some damage. This is like the main area where we fight the zombies. But it looks good. I don't think we had that much. Don't cross the streams. Yes. Also, the new Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is out. I want to go and see it. It's a Ghostbusters movie, so... I expect it to be true to its... Keep... Don't do that. Still deciding if I should burn all my money to get the digital deluxe edition or not for integrated and reuse a uh, reunion. Crisis core. Uh, no, I would, I would advise... I think I think the digital deluxe only has like the All systems go. How may I help? the soundtrack, so I would advise against that. I would say conserve ammo, or I mean money. How may I assist you? Conserve money. It is a pleasure to serve. And get the maximum thing. They're making another crow movie. Yes, yes. There's been several posts about it in the Discord. Oh crap, I forgot to bring... I forgot to bring the... Um, buckets of concrete. Okay, but I'm seeing what is it that we need to do. Uh, Paul says, I'd like to see it too. No car at the moment. That's a 46 on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, that's not good. People are not liking it. Forty-six is not good. Okay, that's done. That's done. Let me just go inside and okay, there was something there. there that's better. Okay, that's SMG auto turret, empty and empty. No, this one has something. Two hundred and forty-seven. This one is empty. Shotgun turret. Shotgun turret. We don't have a lot of ammo. This is not good. Okay, I got some of this and some concrete cube. We need to fix that. The motion sensor is good. This is good. Okay, we're gonna go back to the base and quickly get a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, uh, cement, buckets of cement. Greg says we'll do on the topic of concern being ammo and money. The joke, uh, uh, joke mod for 72s a gun that uses the Duke tokens as ammo. Oh, nice. Very expensive if you ask me, but nice. Probable says, from what I'm reading, most people like it. They say it's funny and it has a good story. Those tomatoes to be rotten for some reason. Wise words. Pretty Boy says, I was perusing the Steam Spring sale. Didn't see anything I liked. So I bought the Steam version of The Last of Us. I'm regretting it. Console games just sucks. That was game. Uh, but are you playing it on? Uh, are you playing with a controller or with mouse and keyboard? Because, as you can see by my playthrough of the PC port of The Last of Us, I destroyed it with mouse and keyboard. It was not even, you know, like a challenge. I just mouse and keyboard. Oh, so what does it suck? Do you have like frame rate issues or something like that? Because you know, the beast could handle it. And for instance, the op os hospital level in the, mouse of, uh, in the Last of Us, I just destroyed it using mouse and keyboard. Time Max says, joke mode is fun, but hard to get started. 
You die a lot early on. Yeah, you need good monies. I have a full playthrough of The Last of Us Part 1 uh, PC port. I'm thinking, can we make scripted and no control over camera? Well, you, you gotta remember it's an old game. Biscuit says, I won't play any shooters with a controller. Yes. Same here. It is just cruel and unusual punishment to have to play a shooter with a controller. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we're missing something over here. I'm a little bit concerned about... You started with Doom. Always mouse and keep. Nice. I'm a little bit concerned about the lack of... Um, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to copy that. About the lack of ammo. This goes over there. We good with this? Because I know... Um, come on, copy this thing. I know I don't have enough shotgun ammo. And that is the basis of my strategy here. Um, okay. Oh. Some damage there. No damage here. Seems to be good. Okay. I keep I keep wasting steel, turning into steel things that don't need to be steel. Doom was my first 3D shooter. Love that game. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Camera went a little crazy for a second. No, no, it was spinning. I would almost sing the you spin me round, round thing if I was not afraid of Hellgate's opening. That was so weird. Okay, now the fog is here. And you know it's officially fall here right now. And we hit 33 degrees Celsius again today. In fact, it's really hot right now. My room is at 28 degrees Celsius. Which is bull. TP says, don't fall. Okay, see you later, timer. Have a good one. Actually, going to bring that. No, we're not going to. Yeah, 33 degrees Celsius. Absolutely bananas. Okay, I need that and I need this. And I'm gonna bring like a couple more. I guess that's enough. We need to make blade traps. If I'm correctly remembering. We need to make at least six blade traps. Okay, this is not good. I don't have oil. I don't have the oil for that. Jesus. Not good. Uh, I'm going to try to make as much paper as possible. So we can make the shells. This is not good. I need water for this. 33 up at your house? Was a leg down on the coast? Right here. It was from a monitoring station that's like a couple of blocks down. 
the the heat here is rel relentless until like May. So April is going to be hot. Uh, you know the entire month. Heat goes down sharply, but like in May, been like that for the past I don't know decade or something. Oh look at the, look at all the food that was here. Nice. I'm gonna put it there. And I'm gonna eat a spaghetti-o. Delicious. And we're gonna drink a smoothie. Okay, so for, for paper. We need water, we need glue. Okay, and for glue... No, not blue, glue. Ear of super corn. I don't have the super corn though. I'm gonna use the bones. Nice coloring. Yes. Rex says, I'm about to have my birthday soon. A few more days till then. Oh, awesome. Hope it's a happy birthday when it happens. Uh, let's just grab some of this. How much glue can we make? 42. That's going to have to suffice. And then... I'm really, really concerned about the lack of... Blade traps. Feels interesting being older. Yes. Uh, blade trap. You get more perspective on things and wisdom, you know. I don't know if you've seen that. The picture is not a meme about the difference between knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge. You have a like a, a picture with a lot of dots, and that's knowledge. Wisdom is the same picture with the dots, but interconnected. There's a difference between knowledge and wisdom. Pongo says, it is too late to write a letter to the zombies and ask them to reschedule. I don't know, zombies are pretty, you know, strict with their with their, their the timings so they're not probably not going to be very happy if we say you know guys we we got a reschedule we got an issue with the supply chain and the stuff uh can we reschedule zombies are probably going to go like zombies and schedule no or something like that it's just that we don't we don't I'm concerned about this oil. 13 oil? I don't have that much oil. That's just, that's the way it is. So we're gonna have to buy those traps. And I don't have any money. We got a silver nugget. And we got Nicole's treasure. I guess we go and get Nicole's treasure, man. Okay, we got Nicole's treasure map. Okay, that's working. Is it good over here? Okay, in the meantime, you're gonna start making paper. Oh, we needed the water for the freaking paper as well. Damn it! We're really low on water. I'm going to have to... Is the, is the is the corn ready? It kind of look ready. It's gone. It's, it's good. It's good. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. We gotta stop the presses. Stop. Stop making the. Stop making the glue with this. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Nice. We got. We got this. Now we can make glue with the ear of super corn. Oh, we still need the water. God damn it. Yeah, 
This sucks. I was so excited. Greg says, water is both expensive and an expense in the zombie apocalypse. You see, that's wisdom. Okay, let's just drop that over there. And go get the damn treasure. It's... Okay. Oh my god, you are one crazy ass monster. Shut up, Gladys. It was a non standard way of, you know, like just uh, taking off. And you just can't hide it. I made a well in my base so I don't have to worry about water. Uh, I've done some testing with water, but I've been unable to have like a reliable way of having available water. Perhaps we need to, you know, like circle back to that topic after this horde is done. Okay, it's getting really dark, man. It's a storm coming. Oh, what is that? Oh, airdrop! Very nice of them to drop the airdrop right next to the treasure. I'll send you a picture of my pool as well. Nice. Perhaps we can get some some data about that. Also, I need to gather as much honey as possible because Grandpa's Awesome Sauce uses honey. Also, there's a tree right here. You see, they they buried the treasure at the at the foot of the tree because it was a, a good indicator of where the treasure was. Shut his ass off. Oh, wait a second. Another airdrop. And it might be close by. Okay, before we start with the quest, I'm going to go get that airdrop. You see, we got to adapt. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I know the treasure is there, but I gotta go. Okay, I have no visual on the airdrop. Nope, no visual. Visibility, not good. Okay, we're going back. We're going back. Uh. Warning, we have a problem. What? What problem? You are a monster. Oh, shut up, Gladys. What with the sassiness here? Okay, I guess we start digging then. And of course, I don't have any... At least I have my flaming shovel. We don't have any lockpicks. So we're just doing this... The old-fashioned way. We're gonna hit it until it opens. I'm getting closer to the treasure. I'm gonna go ahead and say boulder dash. Yeah, I don't I don't trust you. Oh there it is. Look at that. I needed to trust them. Okay, now we just start digging. I mean, hitting it. And in the meantime, remind you that this is the schedule for this weekend. It's an abbreviated schedule since both Saturday and Sunday are long duration videos of Pacific Drive. 
So seven days to die and My Pacific Drive. Have picked up something. That's it. Whoa, nice. Okay, we get zombies. I'm going to hit this guy with that. Jesus. Hey, stop rolling, bro. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Hey, stop rolling. Okay, you know you banish. That was a rude head. Uh, I'm gonna repair this. Four hundred and eighty. Okay, let's quickly go back to the new main facility of the Zombie Research Initiative. Where is the facility? It's over there. He was rolling like a turd in the wind. We're gonna try to make some, get some corn, visit the trader, get some money, and uh, somehow get some ammo. Because, you know, we are flat broke right now. Don't have any monies. No monies at all. Boy, this thing is really smoking. I'm gonna have to repair it. Of course there is money in the budget to repair the friggin' gyrocopter. It is a vital piece of equipment. Where is the... It is a vital piece of equipment for the zombie research initiative. Okay, I can't see... Okay, there it is. Yes, maintenance is important. But I don't know what's going on with this fog. It is... Like, it's not even 1 p.m. Visibility is just terrible. Although, personally, I do like the zombie apocalypse like this, you know? I don't like a shiny, happy people, bright day zombie apocalypse. I like it like this. Grim, dark, cloudy, stormy. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this. Let's see. Yeah, you can't have a zombie apocalypse with, like, the sun bright and shiny in the sky. It has to be like dark. Okay, Siri. All systems go. How may I help? Grab these things, grab that, and grab this. All of this is what we're going to go and sell. You're going to be getting the new Seven Days to Die Blood Moon game that was announced, of course. I'm still not entirely sure about what that is. Because it kind of felt like this one. But if, yes, we're going to we're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to play it. Okay, we got a lot of ammo for the Mathilda. That's good. And the crowd pleaser. Got a lot of ammo for the Magnum. So no problem. Our main issue is this: the shotgun shells. That's our main issue. Put this over here. Gonna put the. Greg says, What? What is this other Seven Days to Die game? There is a new Seven Days to Die game being released by the Farm Pimps. You can check it out on the Discord. I posted on the Seven Days to Die thing. Seven Days Blood Moon. Yes. Stellar says, How do I know don't know of this? It's a. It's a. It's news from like two days ago, so it's just really new. Hey, Martin. So yeah, we will be getting it. We will be playing it. Mods, mods go over here. Uh, okay, that's good. So we got this. Can we make more paper? Yeah, paper is going to be an issue. With this, can we make um, let's see. 
No, it's over here. Can we make shells? Box of shotgun shells. Okay, crafted one. I'm gonna go get all the water we have. Oh, look at this. Now it's a bright, shiny, happy people day. Weather is very unstable in this region. There you go. Anything else here? No. Uh, let's see if this... I'm thinking I need a more more of this, uh, you know, do collector things. And then we're going to punch the corn and go and sell it. Martin says, crazy night. Thought it was going to a networking event. Turns out it's a crazy party. I am suited up at all. I've been dancing and drinking five hours non-stop. Yes, you're going like this. You can also go like this. But in a suit, so you look good, you see? It is important to always look good. Punch the corn in private. I'm gonna punch the privates out of the corn or something. I don't know. Now we need the money. We need the money. We need to start punching corn right now. Shotgun shell. What do we need for this that's missing? A little bit more paper and we can make the other. That looks as I wasn't sure at first, but this build has grown on me. And it will keep growing. It's just, you know, it's, it's just the beginning. You see, I had to avoid what happened in previous alphas where I was just done with the story. And the foam pimps were nowhere near a new alpha. So we gotta we gotta stretch it out. You see, we gotta work it. That's what's happening. Okay, let's just go and punch some corn. Cause it has been known for thousands of years. The best way to get vegetables is to punch them. That's what gives you best yield. You don't use tools. You just go bare knuckle, you know, like punching it. See, Pimia says, I can't watch. What? Darren says, they see hitting the corn, I see. Yes. But hitting the corn is both therapeutic and a good exercise and and out of stamina as you can see we're building we got new buildings over there we got the crane for the ship we got the reactor i need to finish over here in the control tower and this facilities is there so there's still a lot of work but we're we're doing it we're doing it this is the Sky City. Thank you, says anyone from the States playing the NCAA basketball brackets? Mine is already busted. Go Bama. That's all I can say. Thirty-eight of this. Good. I think they need to increase a little bit the seed production numbers just a little bit for my taste Darren says it's, it's sweet to treat like that do it more tender oh. now we just punch it you're gonna you know like say come on corn come on you punk ass Vegetable. Use your skill points. Uh, those are... Where are they? Intellect? Agility? Agility? 
Go Bama! They're fixing to tip off uh, in around 20 minutes. <laughs> Living off the land. You see, it's at maximum. It's absolutely a maximum. Nothing else we can do. Three out of three. Would always farm. Unless... This unlocks headshot damage. No, this does other things. Three out of three. Blood moves look like the original seven today with way more upgrades and features. Looks more complete for some reason. We'll see. There is a star, it just sounds in my head watching it. Yes, there's a lot of sand. And there's a lot of corn punching. <clears throat> Punch it! Punch it! Punch it like that. There you go. Okay, now we just install this. It's the only... Siri, please, can you move a little bit? Thank you. Only way we can get enough money... Siri... I mean, I'm gonna need you over here, thank you. This provides for excellent money. Siri, can you come over here? Siri, over here. Over here. Siri, can you stop playing? Darren says, where's all the corny jokes? Great to see you, Mal, as you wish. Stay there, thank you. I'm gonna need, I'm thinking, like, we need like maybe 40 more of this. See one of the benefits of farming here over a hundred meters above ground is that you don't get any uh, moles and no one messes with your crop except when the zombies just breach and you know like starts destroying things but crops being here on the on the roof of this uh, of the cafeteria Zombies tend to not really pay attention to them. They usually run around like hitting random things. It's kind of weird. Takes the snails a long time to climb up here. Yes. It is. It is a long climb. That all super corn? Yes. The inventor inventors of super corn will be shocked at how far you progress with the super corn. Yes, super corn is extremely valuable. Might be also slightly radioactive, but very, very valuable. That is why we need all of the super corn that we can get. There says my friend hates corn. I think the alternative is yoga. Uh yeah, maybe. Yoke is very good, uh, but super corn is extremely expensive. Now we can sell it for a good price and perhaps get more. I'm going to try to get as much um, glue as possible. We just got a super chat, you monster. Hey, Stellard! With the super chat, 40 nerd things. Thank you, Stellar. It is much, much appreciated. We will use it for the nerd things. As, you know, instructed. Because by the nerd things we live, and by the nerd things we die. So, thank you. Okay, six of this. Lady. I like nerd things. What can I say? You get you get the nerdy things. You made the nerdy thing. Okay, we're actually making a good. Uh, uh, a lot of this is good. 
Uh, okay, let's just put this ammo over here. And let's put this over there. Now, I don't have the grandpa's awesome sauce. I don't have any way to make it because it requires four jars of honey. And we're fresh out of honey. So, I don't know. This glue... Well, I don't have any more water, so I'm not going to be able to make any more paper. Let's go visit some... Um, some traders. Let's go visit some traders. We're gonna start over here, we're gonna jump over to Trader Gen, then we're gonna go north. Wilson ate out the honey, exactly. Also, you know, I got like a, a game stick. I bought it like a two or three weeks ago. It uses emulation and it contains like 40,000 old games. Like from arcades, uh, Commodore 64, Atari, uh, you know, there's a bunch of systems, emulators and thousands of games per every system. So one of these days we're gonna do a mystery zombie game 3000 with that. Like, every imaginable game, you can play it. It was pretty cheap as well. Uh, I have an issue, because Siri is not here and Siri had the things that we needed to... Uh, you know, sell. Oh. My. God. This is embarrassing. Your actions bring shame to the entirety of the zombie research initiative, you embarrassing monster. I will not comment on that. Because, indeed, I can screwed up. Hey, Indestructible, how are you? Yep, Your starting the weekend. Welcome here. Hello, bro. I'm gonna sell you all of that. You only can find 25 of this item? Why? Okay, can you buy 25? Not interested. Okay, this guy does not want more corn. Damn it. How long until you... I... I... Restock on day 91, I guess. I guess that's when you're going to be able to... Jar of honey. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, we're gonna buy those. Um, do you have blade traps? No, you don't. Uh, no blade traps. Bow hunters. I don't give rats ass about bow hunters. I would really like to get um nothing here. You come back sometime. Yeah, thank you, bro. Uh, okay, so this guy is fed up with our stuff. I'm gonna swing by the new main facility of the Zombie Research Initiative, also known as the Sky City. Grab Siri. Because she's all alone over there. And then head over to another trader. I think Jen is probably also fed up with the corn. So we're gonna go to that town over there. We should be able to secure a trader that likes the corn you need to wait for them to for the restock before they accept corn again 
I guess the trader just opens the back door in the back of the shop and there's like a stack two meters high of corn. So that's why he's not going to buy anymore because what the hell is he going to do with all of that corn? You, know? you heard the dark science labs that did unethical research never did any research on super corn. Yes, because they did research on mostly like zombies. Super corn, or maybe, maybe they did some super corn, I'm, I'm not exactly... It is a pleasure to serve with pleasure. Okay, it is a pleasure to serve with pleasure. Uh, not really sure, you know, because everything is connected. We've, we've encountered dark science facility, um, belonging to the Umbrella Corporation. In every reality we've been, the Umbrella Corporation has been destroyed already. But who knows, maybe in one reality we're going to find uh, you know, remnants of them and have to tango. Varies from reality to reality. Jen could be sick from the corn because the high radioactivity being higher in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere. Yeah, but remember that Jen is an alien. As are all the traders. They are alien. They may look human. But we figured out a long time ago that all the traders are actually aliens. What are they doing here? We don't know. They possess extremely advanced shielding technology. That's why they have absolutely impenetrable shields. They might be just gathering data about the current zombie apocalypse that is devastating Earth. Or they may have other reasons for being here. We don't know. What we do know, no, what we do know, is that they are not of this world. Check this out. Absolutely impenetrable shielding technology. Also, they talk without moving their lips and i don't think that they are all you know like ventriloquists at least wipe that shit off your boots before you come into my shop and they talk like this you see jen would probe your ass city media the hollow black eyes you see yeah okay Thank you. That's better. Okay, that guy is done. Ah, let's see. No. No. Shotgun or a turret. We don't need that. We need traps. Shotgun shells. Expensive. Not gonna waste two th two thousand buckaroos on that. Uh, okay, this is not good. This is not good. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Shut up! You have you have honey. No. I'd go broke with more customers like you. Sorry. But you know you have the... You have the impenetrable force field, so... Where do we have another trader? We got a trader gen over here. No other traders there. I'm pretty sure Incoming these traders... Conflict. Lady, I'm busy. I'm doing some... Thank you. Hey! This lady lost her head, you see? Go up, go up, go up! Remember when you put a trader on fire? Yes! You used to be able to hit the traders with a sledgehammer with the fire mod. And the traders just go up. In fact, 
there were there was a time when you hit the traders and they just kind of fell flat on their ass because the shield was malfunctioning but then they got up except for one trader which i believe i might have killed i don't know also you get several trader gens they are clones so you see either they are clones or they are like i said aliens pretending to be human that's how you explain you have a trader gen here and you have a trader gen in the next town us but as i was saying why are they here what is their goal are they just curious about the zombie apocalypse did they cause the zombie apocalypse because it has been well established that the zombie virus is alien in origin. Or are they trying to help us? Who knows? For now, I tend to think... Or Jen has a very fast vehicle. Could be. Could be. But I tend to think that they are friendly to us. But... Not exactly so, 100% sure. What are you buying today? I'm gonna sell you some stuff. I'm gonna sell you this, and I'm gonna sell you this. Okay, we got as much money as we could. Um, let's see, nothing there. No, no, no. You don't have blade traps. I'm gonna get this lantern. This is not good. He's a shapeshifter. She were from Bladder Croft to anime, huh? Yes, yeah, this is what we call character development. Hey, Mr. Hakim, how are you? Welcome to the stream. We're trying to gather money and traps because uh, I'm gonna get this jar of honey as well so we can make Grandpa's awesome sauce. Because tomorrow is a hard day. No paper. No blade traps. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Yes, thank you, Jen. This is not good. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, I know. There's a zombie over here. Don't lose your head. I'm gonna go to the trader Jen over here. We're going into the wasteland. We're going into the danger zone. Visibility will deteriorate as we approach the wasteland. That was a big city. But as you can see, all this entire area was devastated during the, you know, the, 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 the nuclear war. Making us harder to kill and die with the zombie virus would just ruin us since the virus strips us our sense of salt and sanity. Becoming monster and structural engineers for some reason. Exactly. Imagine if she just runs after you leave. Yeah, like Pongo was saying, she, maybe she has like a very fast bike or something like that. She goes like the Batman. She goes like zoom, you know. Two trader gens have. It. Also, you know what? Next weekend, we're going to start assembling the, the Batman uh, Lego my bike I have. I don't know if you remember it. It was gifted to me by Elizabeth Crow last year. So we're going to assemble that. It's probably going to take maybe two sessions. I don't think we can make it in one session. Is the, the, the bike from the, the Batman movie. Ducati Penningale. Uh, uh, I don't know. Give me, give me a second. I'm just gonna put this here. Give me, just let me just uh, like, what is this? Another trader? No, now he's getting corrections. I don't think I've been there. Let me just park it here. The bad cycle. Yeah, but it's it's from the. 
the 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 Batman movie. The one with the emo Batman. Let me just park it right there. Okay, give me uh one second. Okay, I'm back. It's this one. You see? It's the... Um, from the, the, the Batman movie. This one. And um, No, where's the... This, this one. So yeah, this is what we will be assembling next weekend. The Batman ba Bat Cycle. It says right there. It has 641 pieces. So yeah, maybe we can knock this in like two and a half hours or something. We're gonna assemble this. Hey, human blaze the cat. There. And also remember next weekend, we're going to be watching Rubber in session 67, I guess, of Mystery Zombie Theater 3000. Is that a dead Wilson? Hey, look at this! There's a dead Wilson! This is a star star, see that out. Yeah, I don't know, Mike. I didn't kill this Wilson. It's just right here. Seattle, cast T-O-T-6-2. I don't know. Rubber. Rubber as in, you know, like the... The petroleum byproduct. It's a story about a psychotic... A wheel that kills people. It is actually You're pretty funny. Looking kind of rough. You didn't get bit, did you? No. Like it's a, it's a it's a wheel. A, a tire, actually, not a wheel. It's a tire that has like telekinetic powers, can blow people's heads off with the the mind. You see. It's absolutely bananas. So we're going to be watching Rubber next weekend. We're going to be assembling that as well. That one we're going to be assembling on on Saturday. Rubber is organic, isn't it? From rubber trees? Yeah, but I believe these ones are deriv derivative from petroleum. It's called rubber, but it's actually like whatever the hell the tires are made of. I don't think that's organic. I mean, it derived from trees. It's, it's, of course, it's organic. Uh, oil is organic. Blade traps! We got some blade traps. We need three more. Must be better than that bear that ate all the powder movie. <laughs> Cocaine bear, yeah. Vulcanized rubber. Also, howdy. Hello, John. That's John from the Killer Bits. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We're talking about uh, next week's session of Mystery Zombie Theater 3000, where we're going to be watching the 2010, I believe it is, movie Rubber. Yeah, Cocaine Bear. I've, it's, it's a pretty crazy movie, but that one, we could also add that one to the, to the list. The, the Trader Gen doesn't have any more of the traps I need. John says, Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, look at this. Robotic Drone Morale Booster Mod Schematic. Who in their right mind would like Wilson's head floating around in the damn thing? Psychic killer tires. Exactly. That's a good summary of rubber. Uh, I guess we're done here. Alrighty then. Stay safe out there. Thank you. Okay, let's go over here. Siri. How may I assist you? Uh, Siri had a bunch of stuff that we could sell. But we're going to proceed to selling this. Okay, I'm going to sell you this, sell you that, sell you this and that and this and that and that. Well, you just brightened my day. Thank you. I'm glad I could help you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's go. Let's 
It's getting kind of late. Tomorrow is a Hornet. I still don't know who killed this Wilson over here. It wasn't me. You like it when it cautiously rolls around. What, Siri? Okay, there's another Wilson back here. I'm gonna go cinematic. Wilson! Come on, you and me, bro. You and me. Oh, the tire. Okay. Electrifying! Come on, charge my stick. Stupid psychotic bear. Die! Okay. Nasty. Do you have a cigar? Yes, I have. Time for some bear hugs. Yeah, actually, Wilson got me pretty good. Okay, I'm back. Got me pretty good. I'm gonna use one of these things. Do I have a cigar in this one? No, I don't have a cigar. Okay, let's go. Did I mark the other trader? No. There's a trader Bob like west of our location, so let's go. Hopefully you want the head for a trophy? No, and actually there's a... Um, there's a rug. There's a Wilson rug that I should modify the XML of the file in order to in include it in the craftable items. Harvest that bear then, says Chrissy Boy. I forgot. Oh. My. God. Shut up, Gladys. I don't need your sassiness right now. Okay, we're flying on top of the dead city. As you can see, we got a lot of squares. Some infrastructure. You mean you're going to cheat again? What? Because I added a couple of cosmetic items and now, you know, I'm going to add the other thing? No. So you mean you cheated again, you compulsively cheating monster. No, shut up, Gladys. Hey, there's a hospital over here. Oh, I haven't been to the hospital since they, you know, did a, a makeover of... Okay, but we cannot go to the hospital. It doesn't look that different. Peggy says, Bama's game has been pushed back 30 minutes. So the wait is real. Mm, yeah, it is different. Yeah, that was not like that before. Okay. Crazy Boy says, Cigar is worth three perk points in strength. Uh, I don't remember. Maybe. No. And his destructible says, There's a few different parts in the hospital now. And the top end looks fantastic. Well, we had a base on a hospital back in Alpha 17. So, who knows? Perhaps we will have another hospital base in the future. For now, we're just working on the Sky City and um, the Opus Foxtrot. Okay, we still have a couple of hours of daylight, but we're good. CPBS says the hospitals are more scary. Years ago, they were always that were narrow, pitch black. You can barely see it out of the glass windows. Oh. So bring a flashlight is what you're saying. Or a flaming shovel like the one I have. I like my flaming shovel. It is a good... It's good when tools also produce light and fire. And John says, also flying around of the wasteland in the microcopter, all I can think is the end of it has a Max Max 2 or 3. Oh yeah, yeah, I think it's a Road Warrior, that one. So it has to be... Master, we are not alone. The... I think it's just 2. Shut up! I hate these things. 
Okay. Why are you, don't you die? Yes, crazy boy. It is the... So, sorry. It is the flaming shovel of... Doom! Okay. Sorry. I need to do a little bit of... Stop pooping! Also, there's another Wilson over there. But you see, Wilson is stupid. It's uh, hitting the impenetrable compound of the traitor. That's why I maintain that this is alien technology. We do not possess the necessary technology to make this impenetrable force field. We sell only the best merchandise. You see, I'm gonna shoot this guy point blank. Nothing. You see? Force field. Hello, bro. Uh, sorry for shooting you just now. I was just, you know, like making a point. Indestructible says, I wish the fun pimp would fix the crazy noise and adjust the default volume of it. Yeah, sometimes you're just uh, like, you hear a noise over here and it's just like two blocks away. But yeah, who knows. Uh, I'm going to get the honey in order to make grandpa's awesome sauce. Animal fat could be good. Get hammer, handy, electrical traps, robotic drone, morale booster, mod schematic. I'm not going to place a Wilson head on top of Siri. That is just crazy talk. Um, You don't have any more traps, right? Trap. Oh, you have blade traps. Nice. We got five. If I remember correctly, I needed six, but five. Hey, look at this. This is like the wheel from Rubber. The movie we're going to be watching next weekend in session, I guess it's 67 of Mystery Zombie Theater 3000. Remember, all past sessions of Mystery Zombie Theater 3000 are archived on the Discord. You join the Discord, you go to the MZT3K section. Is everything there? Um, I guess we're good. Gratitude and safe travels, friend. Thank you. Can I electrify this guy? No. You see, immune to electric charges, and you can you can almost see the reptilian eyes. Let me just do this. The thing I don't like about this game is the sound travels everywhere. So what zombie could be anywhere around you? Half the time is the same as in Minecraft. Yeah. Look at the eyes of this trader. It's, they are almost reptilian. This is how you can tell they are aliens. Okay, let's go. Indestructible says, exclamation mark culvert. You could plug a culvert with that tire. Okay, let's go. Dinosauroid? Reptilians? Who knows? You know, Wilson, that Wilson, which is an undead Wilson, is living his best life. So we're not going to mess with him. I'm just going to take the gyro. And we're going to head back. Why is there a dead dog over there? I think someone was over here. Mike! Do we have any reports of outside presence? I'm guessing about three clicks north of the base. Okay. Maybe send the unit, you know, because I think I think someone's been here. I'm I'm seeing dead things. Okay, thanks, bro. TV me says he's not living. No. Oh, look at this, a Walter. I hate those things. Okay, we're going back to the base. Where is our base, by the way? Ah, it's over there. Ow! Okay, you stupid undead vulture, stay over there. Don't come over here. What the hell is wrong with you? Getting dark pretty fast. Oh no, sorry, never mind. Okay. 
As you can see in the horizon, the new main facility of the Zombie Research Initiative, the Sky City. Towering over the wasteland as a lasting beacon of hope. Remember dropping molotovs on zombies? Yes, we used to do that. I remember doing that during the Alpha... Was it in Alpha 16? It was, it was pretty fun. There's an entire episode where we fight a seven-day horde in the city, in the desert, in Navis game. And I was just pretty much just bouncing around in the gyrocopter, dropping um, molotovs on the zombies. It was high risk, low reward, but it was pretty cool. I don't know why the pimps just removed that. Okay, Chrissy boy, have a good one. Yeah, that was the good old days. Okay, while well, we're going over here, remember... No, the stinky Walters here. This is the schedule for the weekend. It's a, you know, like, reduced schedule. Because we're having our 7 Days to Die stream right now. And both tomorrow and Saturday's videos are, you know, Pacific Drive hour and a half long videos because like i said tomorrow i'm going to be out of town so yeah we're going to be investigating the olympic exclusion zone in back to back hour and a half long videos of pacific drive okay here we go the sky city we're just gonna do a little bit of a flyby And then we're going down to the Horde base. There we go. Still under construction because this is a freaking city. It's big. And now we're going down. Indestructible says, yes, started following you in 2016, just after the introduction of Gladys. You monster. Gladys? Is that you? They should make fire spread. Yeah, well... You gotta remember that we have limited processing capabilities. And this entire place is basically... Voxel... Based. So... The amount of processing would be... For spreading fire would probably be... Huge. Okay. Yeah, we need one more of this, but at least we got four. I mean, five. Let's just place one over there, one over there, one over there, one over there, and one over there. We need one more. Not a problem, I'm guessing. Um, I am going to install one of this over here. Come on, go on face. So we can see a little bit better during the fight. I guess that's as much as we can do over here. Now, let's go back and see what we can do. Oh crap. This is embarrassing. Your actions bring shame to the entirety of the zombie research initiative, you embarrassing monster. Shut up, Gladys. I always run out of fuel. Okay, go up, go up, 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 up. There we go. Bongo says, auto rotate again. Yes, but it's in the opposite direction. With the fog, you know, both sunrise and sundown are so shiny. So shiny. Okay, let's just park it here. More gas for that ass. I don't think I have a particularly nice ass in this game, but whatever. Okay, let's do a little bit of inventory management. Because inventory management is one of the main reasons why people watch this channel. I'm gonna be putting that there. I'm going to be putting this over here. That over there and there. 
Greg says, I felt like adding an escape hatch on the on there somewhere for a quick tactical retreat would be smart. Uh, on the horde base, we have a big hatch in the back. We can escape if needed. Okay, can we make paper? No, we can't. We don't have water. John says, all that walking and running around. Bet you got bones of steel. Maybe the other, the thing is that, you know, whenever I try to look at myself, I don't see anything. You see, I try to look at my legs, there's nothing. I try to look in the mirror, there's nothing. So I'm guessing I might be a vampire? Who knows? Greg says, at the outpost, JC. At the outpost, uh, Foxtrot? Mm, we have the tunnel. That could be... I don't know. We'll have to see. Outpost Foxtrot is meant to be my... Like, my personal retreat. Okay, do we have any more water? There's no more water over here. It's just like pure mineral water. I'm gonna drink a Jocko smoothie. That was good. Also... Getting kind of late. Let's have dinner. What do we have for dinner? We got spaghettios. In that case, vampires always have a nice ass. True. I'm gonna eat spaghettios. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Uh, oh, sorry. I need to put this over here. Uh, and we got the magnum and this thing. How's the corn growing? Up. So these these things take like two days, right? Okay. Okay, the reactor is looking good. That over there's looking good. We're still building. Still being. This is a, one of the largest builds I've ever done, but. Still work in progress. Ammo. Okay, so we got a lot of ammo for the Mathilda. And a lot of ammo for the Magnum. Uh, we should... How much do we have for this? We got three. We don't have enough for the shotgun turrets. Like, one shotgun turret is going to be using... Uses this this uh, it's a starship we're building a ship we need to go to the moon we need to investigate the gravimetric anomaly that's on the moon but that's more of a long-term goal at this point uh, I'm just gonna put this over there put that over there and put this glue there. Greg says, in that case, couches and chairs always have a nice ass. They make good places to sit down the nice ass. Sorry for the use of worry. Yes. It all adds up. Let's put that over there. I'm not exactly sure what to do in terms of you know what we can do? I have an idea. I only need one more blade trap. Right? We got forge iron. We got the steel. The mechanical parts and the electrical parts. What we're missing is the oil. And I think I got some oil shale left. Yeah, we got oil shale. So can we make oil? Yeah, we can. Actually. We can make a 250 of these things. Um, no, we have oil shell here. Look at this. I forgot I have 6,000 there, 185 here, and 6,000 here. I'm just gonna make the crap out of this oil cans. We're gonna put like some there. make 150 that's gonna take 60 minutes and then you're gonna make a stack of oil that's good 
I mean of gas. Not the party kind, the, like the vehicle kind. So you mean you cheated again, you compulsively cheating monster. I did not cheat, Gladys. I had the oil shale heal and I had completely forgotten about its existence. It's not like it magically manifested itself in that crate. So the, I resent the implications of cheating. You know, I do not cheat. I grind. I dig long, dig hard. Okay, so we're going to be able to make... I need 13 of these things in order to make the blade trap. What we're missing is... What we're missing is paper. For the shotgun shells. Does anybody know if we can make armor piercing slugs and install them? I'm incompetent, not a cheater. Peggy says, it's game time. Go Bama. See you later, Peggy. Anybody knows if we can use, like, armor piercing slugs in the turrets? I don't know. I've never tried it. And this could be the answer. This could be the answer. Let's just try to make a little bit... Because I got a lot of scrap polymers. Uh, slugs. Some of the ammunition types don't load into the turrets. Bullet tips. Oh, and these use bullet tips as well. I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make a... F like... I'm gonna make a box. No, 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 no. I'm gonna make regular ones so we can go and quickly test this and then a, a box because I trust this. Greg says, I heard that it's in the update. Sure it is possible in the current version. We're gonna test. I actually have enough for the testing. Okay, okay, science people, science! Get ready for some science. It is past 10 p.m. so the zombies are going to be nasty and look at the size of the moon the decay in orbit if you ask me is you know visible stop trying to sound like you understand what you are talking about you credit taking monster oh, shut up Gladys okay I'm gonna I'm gonna test this easy 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 there we go Okay. We're going to be testing this. I guess we are in better shape for tomorrow's horde uh, attack. Okay, moment of truth. Nope. Doesn't work. But I could use the stack I have of shotgun shells ammo for this turret and switch to armor piercing and just use armor piercing during the battle. I guess that is the only strategy we have left. Oh, look at this. There's a... What the crap? CP misses. He said, but... Zombies did a lot of damage here, then I was not aware of this damage. Okay, this is... This is a good strategy. I think this is the only strategy we have. Hey, Jason, how are you? Just got back from seeing the William Shatner documentary. You can call me Bill. At the theater. Very poetic. Definitely a final story on his life. He's 93 after all. Hmm. 
Remember that Jason is one of the, you know, like, members of the thing they made so they could make this movie. You were even, like, in a Zoom call with William Shatner. Greg says, Darren, now we know for sure the current version doesn't have compatibility with other ammo types of the same gun type. Nope. So is uh, is Call Me Bill coming to streaming services later, right? I think you mentioned that that there was a the theatrical release and then it was coming to streaming services. Let's just drop down over here. Um, yeah, like I said, the plan for tomorrow is going to be is going to be me using the sh the slugs. And the shotgun shells, which we're going to do immediately. So we have 650 shotgun shells for the two turrets. It's not going to be enough, but it will have to do. I guess we make one. Cosby story? No, no, no. William Shatner, not the other one. Grab that. Hey, I guess that works. So this one, this one. This one says yes, probably in a few months, I think. I will be notified when I'll let everybody know. Awesome. Okay, folks. Just gonna put this over here. And no, this one does not go over there. We must not commit the cardinal sin of mismanaging the inventory. Okay, I'm gonna... I guess I'm going to go to the cafeteria and have like a, a drink. You know, after all, it's like 11 p.m. Uh, it's kind of empty because it's kind of late. You know? When is the next Blood Moon? Tomorrow. But that is going to be in the next episode. So remember. Next week, we're assembling this. The Lego Technique. The Batman thing, you see? from the Batman movie. It is 641 pieces, so we might be able to knock it out in like, I don't know, two and a half hours or something. We're going to be assembling this one on Saturday. And for this weekend, this is the schedule. We just had our seven days to die stream. And tomorrow and Sunday, you're getting back-to-back -back Pacific Drive videos. So yeah, that's going to be awesome. So yeah, I think that's it for the stream. I hope everybody has a nice weekend. And let's see, Layla saying hello. Thank you, sorry. Thank you for the stream. Awesome. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this stream. That's it for now. And uh, see you next time.